particularly love the process of taking my time to build a collection. It's been such a slow process, but when I go back and look at it, I'm like, wow, I have all these stuff. It's like, yeah, it's been six years since you've been collecting. So, and then add the fact that it's an exotic too, lizard. Yeah, definitely need to add that to my collection for sure. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. My name is Annette. I upload videos once or twice a week covering a wide variety of topics and I would love it if you joined the family. Today I am doing one of my favorite videos that I do every year. I think this is probably about my fifth of those type of videos um, because I've been on YouTube for about five, six years now. And yeah, basically it's my luxury wish list video for the next year. There's never a guarantee that I get all the things in my wish list. As a matter of fact, I never get everything in the wish list. Probably get one or two, sometimes three if I'm lucky. Um, but I still like anticipating, I like thinking about it, I like talking about it. I like the process of, you know, thinking of things that I want and just mentally trying it out. Do I want this color? Do I want this? Does this go better with my personality? Or does this go better with my style? It's just fun. It's like window shopping but at home, if you know what I'm saying. So, and I also love watching these videos too when other people upload these videos. So today I am sharing with you guys my 2022 luxury wish list. I will also put a link to my 2021 luxury wish list video that I did last year. And uh, <laughs> yeah, did I get stuff from there? I did, I did, I did, I, I, like I did, I did, but I can't remember. Can't remember. I know what I did not get, which is a Birkin, but I know what I got. I think. Yeah, I did get the blue. I get five motif Alhambra bracelet from Van Cleef and Arpels, and hopefully by the time you watch this video, I should have gotten my Love of Pearl vintage Alhambra earrings, which I'm getting for my birthday. So yeah, I think those are the only two things I can remember for my <laughs> for my wish list last year. Anywho, I am going to go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that I am looking forward to getting next year is actually a set. I'm probably not going to get it at the same time. I like breaking down my purchases because uh, times are rough and uh, these things are expensive. These are not things that you can just go to Walmart. No shade, you know, no tea or Walmart to go pick up. These are things that take a long time and I have to plan and see, okay, how can I move finances around? Do I need to save? Do I need to um, hold off? Is this something I'm going to get in a couple of years? Is there room for this in my wardrobe? Things like that. Those are the type of things that I take into consideration before I make a purchase or before I start thinking about making a purchase. So the very first item is from Van Cleef and Arpels. As you guys know, I would like to get the Onyx 5 Motif vintage Alhambra bracelet. It's a mouthful to say, but those of us in the luxury community who love Van Cleef and our pals know exactly what I mean. It's basically the bracelet, five motif as the name entails, and the stone is onyx in yellow gold. I love onyx. I love my onyx necklace, and I've had my onyx necklace for about three years now, and it stands alone. I don't have any other onyx pieces, so I think it's best to start adding to the onyx collection, being that I'm finishing out my mother of pearl collection. I have the necklace, I have the earrings, hopefully soon, and I already have the bracelet. So in that same light, I would like to also add the onyx earrings as well, so I can have a solid black and gold family, um, the same way I have white and gold in the mother of pearl selection. So that's the very first item that I would love, 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 love to have. I tend to wear my onyx more in the holder months, so especially, you know, fall, winter, um, it's because I'm wearing a lot of darker colors and it just goes phenomenally with those colors. I also wear it in the summer, of course. Sometimes I layer it up with my mother of pearl, so there is like no ending in sight with regard to how you can play with Van Cleef and Arpels. And I particularly love the process of taking my time to build a collection. It's been such a slow process, but when I go back and look at it, I'm like, wow, I have all this stuff. It's like, yeah, it's been six years since you've been collecting. So of course, um, I maximize the cost per wear, guys, you know that. If you see a picture of me and I'm going out, 98% of the time I am wearing something from Van Cleef and Arpels. So the very first item that I like to get from Van Cleef and Arpels is a set and it's vintage onyx earrings and a necklace. I'm not sure that I'll get them at the same time. I usually don't, but I would like to have both of them in 2022. The second item I'd like to get in 2022 is a mini Dior 
exotic bags. Preferably the gold one. You've seen it on my videos countless of times. I've tried it on a lot of times. I tried it on in Milan. I tried it on in, shop, in the shop in Jersey a couple of times. I tried it on at a Christmas party. Like phenomenal. Simply phenomenal. Yet each time I always just like look the other way. And I haven't done an unboxing because I'm still waiting to get my Van Cleef and Arpel stuff. But um, I did get a gold Bottega Veneta knot clutch and it's scratching that itch but at the same time I know very well that I would like to have the exotic mini Lady Dior. It's so beautiful. I don't know why I keep thinking about it but I feel like when the world finally really opens up, like really opens back up, then I'll be ready to go for like galas and events and you know just things like that basically and I think a solid gold exotic you know bag would just be out of this world and Lady Dior that's what they're known for. That's one of the best things in Dior for me. I don't care about the big totes. I don't care about the saddles. Just the Lady Dior's. And then the mini Lady Dior. Absolutely, absolutely. And then add the fact that it's an exotic too. Lizard. Yeah, definitely need to add that to my collection for sure. So that's the second item. The third item, I would say, I'll break it into three items. Um, and that's from Hermes. I am still waiting to be offered a Birkin from Hermes. Um, not sure what the problem is because I see people who go to my store getting one um, but my essay tells me that it's not available but I know it is available and it's just I just don't want to play Hermes games anymore but at the same time I'm not going to pay three times as much to get a bag from a reseller. It's insane. Like you can get a Birkin from the store for about nine grand and then if you can you can get the same Birkin from a reseller for 32 grand. It makes no sense. It's insane. So I'm gonna keep it on my wish list and hope that 2022 is the year that I get it. Assuming of course I don't get it by the end of the year. And in that family, I have my Kelly wish list, I have my Birkin wish list, and I have my mini Kelly wish list. So the Birkin, I love anything in a grey family. Grey's asphalt, grey's moire, etan, etube, anything grey. I love greys and I feel like grey would be the perfect addition to my collection. I've kept that color uniquely for Hermes. I don't want a grey bag from Dior. I don't want a grey bag from Chanel. I just want a grey bag from Hermes. I want a grey Birkin from Hermes, specifically with gold hardware. If other bags are offered to me, am I going to take it? Chances are I will. Um, but for now, I'm a huge proponent of, you know, putting what you attract out in the universe and making sure you get it and that's precisely what I want. And then when it comes to Kelly, I would like either a burgundy Kelly or a gold Kelly. Love those colors and I think they're unique and superb. I would even take a black Kelly. And then when it comes to mini Kelly, anything, give me yellow. Well, maybe not yellow. <laughs> any color at all really I'll take it that's how open I am when it comes to that so all of that is in my wish list for sure still in the family of Hermes next item in my wish list is the Hermes Saint Germain boots which basically is like the Kelly boots that's that's, that's what it's colloquially called but these boots are awesome they don't ride all the way up to your knee and I'm not talking about those I mean the ankle ones that have a little bit of a heel they are sold out everywhere. They were available like three months ago and then now they're sold out everywhere. So you can't even get them this year anymore. I love them, I love them, I love them. The only issue I have with them is they are on the pricey side, but at the same time, you get the quality you're looking for. Like your craftsmanship is out of this world. And because it's leather, I'll be really uncomfortable like walking in them if it snows, you know, or if there's like the slightest chance of rain or anything like that. But I love these boots. They are classic, they are stylish, they are just like super duper awesome. There's no way that I am going to like get anything <laughs> to mess their shoes up. And then the last item also is from Hermes and it's the Hermes Bilbao Flats, Ballet Flats. So basically you guys know I have a lot of flats and I buy flats sometimes and I don't wear them for a while and I fall back in love with them. Like now I'm in love with my Chanel flats that I bought three years ago. <laughs> So um, it's just a pair of flats. It goes perfectly well with my belt, but the hardware in these shoes, in the specification that I want, is silver slash palladium, whereas my Kelly belt, the hardware is gold. If I opt to get the flats that have gold hardware, I have to get it in suede, 
and I don't want to get suede, but I probably will get the palladium slash silver hardware and just be fine with it and just call it a day. Like, it's what it is. It's fine. So, yeah, those are the things that are in my <laughs> in my atmosphere, if you will. There's no guarantee that I'm going to get those items. It's just how I feel. It's just the things I'm longing slash lusting after. It's just the things that I'm liking right now. And, um... Yeah, I hope that I'll be able to get them. If I don't get them, I'll also be fine because really what really matters in life, it's not the material things, it's not how much money you make or where you work, it's the people you're with, it's the, your family, you know, the people who you spend your everyday with and good health and long life. Those are the things that are most important in the long run and I do not take those things for granted. So I just thought it'd be fun to come on here and share with you guys my luxury wish list for 2022. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Annette. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to check out my previous videos. See if is anything you like, I'm pretty sure there's something for all of us here because I do some videos on luxury, self-improvement and career issues, money matters, motherhood and just some regular boring vlogs as well. So be sure to check them out and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching.